So as you can see here, it's quite a thick piece of insulation. It's got about a centimeter between it, I think, and double-sided aluminium. So we're hoping that will double our chances of keeping it cool or warm inside. Let's give it a go. What, what do you think? So the idea here is to cover the inside of the panels and try and get a little gap in between the uh, silver foil and the inside insulation. Um, yeah, we'll just glue the uprights what we can. We're using the double tape just to hold it steady while we're gluing and cutting. And uh, yeah, we made a start, man. here doing our best to do something what do we look at here there's a hunter in the forest check it out just heard him loading his gun so I think they're after a wild boar or something luckily they wear high vis jackets right So yeah, it's getting lighter, done the first row of uh, insulation, now I need to do a little strip along the bottom, along both sides, I think it's starting to get there now, and the idea is actually to uh, insulate the steel over here, because that's pretty difficult to uh, insulate, we can't get in there at all, so it's kind of a heat transfer point. I'm pretty impressed by this stuff, I thought it was just a very thin silver layer, but it's actually uh, got some foam between it. And it's double sided and it's got, uh, I think it's like a bubble layer or something. So it's uh, quite a few different ways of insulating stuff. It's also going to do be our vapor barrier, so I've got to tape off everything rather nicely, uh, which is important, of course, in a small space. I need to check with management before I do the ceiling silver foil, which is a thinner one. Uh, where exactly she wants the lights because uh, I'm not quite sure. I've run some cables, but uh, we'll have to see where we go with that. So anyway, uh, let me cut some strips and uh, keep going.
Check it out, man. What do you think? Not bad. Hmm? This is the one side now. I've got another silver layer over it. Look at that join, man. It's perfect. Pretty good, huh? Top tip of the day when using this foil stuff. It's very sticky stuff. Very pliable. It's like tin foil. Always keep a little starter piece on there. It's very difficult if you don't. You already knew that, didn't you? Now the other side, do the lower layer there, see what's going on there. Um, yeah, I think that'll be good enough for today because uh, we need to catch up with Vika, of course, and uh, see what she needs done as well. And also she wants to get stuck in again, man. Yeah, but this is good, this is progress. Great stuff. I have to say, if you can, invest in a couple of spray cans that make your life so much easier than with a paintbrush or whatever. The stuff is magic. It sticks pretty well, I think. Um, we're hoping it'll perform well in the long run too, but uh, at the moment also we're building on a budget, you know. So there are choices to be made, and hopefully they're the right ones, and uh, obviously you'll see in the long run, but it's part of the fun as well, I'm trying to see if you can do it on a budget, see how far you get. And yeah, so far, uh, oh, it's looking good, right? There it is guys, another result. I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, uh, I think I've done what I set out to do. Put all the cables where I think they should be. I've probably forgotten one, because you always forget something, right? But mostly, it's so far so good. Uh, this means we can start doing the paneling on the inside, which is a big step forward. Because after that, we can start putting the uh, cabinets in and building the shower area which is quite a big thing first of all we've kept our patience put as much insulation as we can in here um, it's obviously not perfect for you perfectionists out there but it's a lot better than it was and it's better than nothing and I hope that we'll get a little bit of an insulation a vapor barrier as well which will help and it all helps whatever you do it all helps in the end right so Let's see what the management says when she comes and has a look. And uh, yeah, sadly we couldn't be here together today because yeah, someone's got to work, right? Does this work? Wow. You've been busy. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, this looks so cool. Hello, babe. This looks amazing, dude. Oh yay! <laughs> Thank you so much. This is what happens when you've got work to do and your husband is able to let loose in the bus and 
Yeah, don't just anyone else has that thing where you go to work and you can't be part of this project. You think, mm. but yes, you know, we also have to earn a living. And wow, lights, <laughs> potential lights. Looky, looky, look, look, look. Oh, fantastic! Completely insulated. Wow. Uh, so here we've got the tape measure measuring out our cupboard, kitchen cupboards. Um, so the four units are together. Um, 240. 240. Simple right. math, even I can do that. <laughs> no, I couldn't remember how I do it. But it's 240. So. Oh wow, this is so cool. So, what do you think? Well, we have the sink here because the pipes are already here. And then what, the stove? I don't know, either the stove and the fridge or the fridge and the stove. Well, the stove has to come this side because it's got a glass lid. Okay, stove is here. Yeah, stove here. Fridge, fridge next to it with the window. And over here we'll have the drawers. And cool. then our little pantry will be attached to the wall here. And our bar fridge over here. And we've designed the whole thing around that point, by the way. Just so you <laughs> I'm so excited. We have uh, replaced that other window that was opaque with this lovely window. And you can see it's got built in. Good night, world. Adios, mosquitoes. And then we can stick them open to open it up. <laughs> it's so cute. You should feel this breeze, it is so cold! Wow! This insulation works. Do we have a thermometer? I think it would be really nice to be able to see the difference between inside and outside. <laughs> well done, my darling. I'm so proud of you and I'm really upset I missed it. But it's got to be done, so thank you very much. So I'm happy that that's a positive step. And yeah, obviously someone asked, why not just get an empty van and start from scratch? Well, you need a bit of character and you need something else as well. And the whole idea was to start off with taking out the floor, give us a bit of height, which is great for me. Um, but then you keep going, right? From one thing leads to the next. And then we found there's a leak in the, uh, in the roof. So yeah, we ended up taking that out as well. As you do. So uh, hey, thanks for watching with this one, um, now we're going to attack the walls and see what we can do with that.